Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. Thank you so much for joining in. I'm working with Spencer Langston from Langston's Alternative Power to work on getting a power reading from this four inch micro hydro turbine. So let me walk you through what we got here. I've got this pond, which has a lot of water in it. And it's got maybe about a hundred gallons coming in a minute. And I'm gonna use a siphon to pull water out of the pond, a four inch pipe. It's got the turbine here. It's three phase, which comes up here to a rectifier, which goes to uh, DC, which then reads the, uh, or goes to the charge controller, which is reading the battery. And then that's gonna go to a dump load and also an inverter over here. Uh, also, I've got this little reader here, which as you can see right now, it's got 11.9 volts on the battery. And we're gonna see what kind of uh, power we have whenever we crank up this turbine. So the turbine goes down into a five gallon bucket and that's what keep, maintains the siphon basically. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this started up and see what kind of power we're getting out of this unit. Here's a look at the turbine from down below. It drops down this pipe, which is about three and a half feet or so. And then it's got uh, this port here for my vacuum cleaner to start the siphon and the bucket helps maintain that siphon. So I'm gonna stick the vacuum into right here and get this unit going. All right, there we go. Siphon is started. So before we start, 11.8, and then 11.9 with 0.7 amps. So let's go ahead and uh, just a little touch here, we'll get this going. It's gonna speed up. Basically the siphon is pulling all of the air out. Let's see what we got here. All right, zero amps. That's always fun. It is jumped up to 12. I removed the power from the rectifier going to the charge controller. My thoughts were that uh, this thing just wasn't pulling enough water to get all the air out. So it sped up significantly here. And then uh, the water is definitely flowing out. So now I'm going to reattach here and see if it changes up this any. Well, it grabbed hard whenever I reconnected everything. And uh, let's see if we're doing much over here. Well, it's back to the same, where it's not really reading. Uh, no watts, and just like 0.1 amps. But the voltage has gone up from 11.9, uh, or 11.8, to 12.3. So it seems to be doing something here. I would just prefer to see some amps or some watts showing up like it's showing a uh, 1.2 watts whenever it does click on there okay i think i have things set up wrong so this value is the 12.5 of the battery on both of them this clip needs to be on this leg right here of the source so let me swap that to that okay that was the problem i just swapped over from reading the battery voltage over to the input from the rectifier so now what this is doing, it's got 1.4 amps and 12.7 volts coming in. For 17.7, I've seen it up to 19 watts. Uh, so that means that our volts coming in is not high enough. And from my understanding, there's a few things you can do to increase that. Make the downpipe longer so we could uh, take our bucket out and move down another I don't know, four or five feet, or we could uh, jut over and go to that water over there, and that would hopefully increase this significantly. It's gonna pull more water that way, which means, as you can see, it has pulled down my source pretty good already, um, but that's what we're here to test out. Uh, so I think in another video, we will be trying that, where I um, probably drop down straight a little bit more, and then we'll try another test where we go over to the water, um, and that way, 
it'll be good. But and we could also increase the downpipe to a six inch, and it will pull even more water and hopefully spin this faster. But as you can see, uh, we're at uh, 12.7 or 12.8 volts on that battery and still running about the same, close to 18 watts going in. Um, while we're at it, let's go ahead and hook this up to the battery and we can see if we turn on a light, if anything happens here. All right, let's click that on. Okay, this is running at 30 watts, and this is, I don't know, seven or so. Uh, so it dropped it down to 12.3, 12.2. So yes, that is pulling off the battery, but the, uh, the input voltage, well, I guess that's reading the battery voltage over there. Interesting. Anyway, uh, still around the 17 watts coming in, 11.9. Let's turn this off uh, here. And it's jumping back up, 12.1, 12.2. All right, so yes, all that's doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, a rainstorm is on the way, so I have to get all this stuff out of here. But um, we at least know that we are able to charge a battery really slowly, but our voltage is not gonna be high enough under load to get this thing going. So our next task will be to increase the voltage. Uh, we found that this thing, open circuit, was uh, 45 volts, and it's uh, 12 something whenever, uh, well, we can find that out pretty quick. Uh. So I'm seeing a 12.3. 8, 12.3. All right, so let's just say that our highest is 12.8. So it needs to be somewhere at least 14, but it'd be better if it was like 16 volts. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down below on how you would improve the system. I think that it's gonna be interesting to see what happens whenever we drop this down further into the water and get another uh, it's probably another five or six feet of drop down there should make this thing spin a lot faster. All right, I gotta get out of here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. A request was made in the comments of my previous hydro video to set up the camera to hear the difference between loaded and unloaded on this unit. So let me do that real quick. I will set you right down here so you can hear what happens when I let this free spin and then connect back to a load. All right, get ready. All right, that's free spin. Here comes the load.